right, guys. Welcome back to the ALJS channel. Hope you guys are all doing well and having a great day so far. Day two finally in the books. And my goodness, was the last game literally all or nothing. Literally, the entire day obviously had events and things that we're going to discuss in today's video. But it wasn't until the very last game where we knew what was going to happen with this winner's bracket, this loser's bracket. A lot of teams were upset. And it seems like the literal last game had all the teams that got blessed with their crazy last time performance. Now, if you guys want to set up the date, all things Apex Legends esports related, of course make sure to like the video subscribe to the channel and not only are we talking about the results and what matches are going to be played tomorrow but apex legends algs actually seemingly feeding information to the teams that are playing we've got that drama for you today as well as one of the players is the one that revealed it mandy who played in the games yesterday without further ado folks let's go ahead and dive right into this i want to let you guys know we are actually going to add a brand new segment on the channel very soon after champs of course teams are going to retire some teams are going to make roster changes but we are going to be adding player interviews very shortly so comment down below which pro player you'd like to see be interviewed and what question you'd like to ask them as well we'll be using some of those comments in the future as well first thing i want to make mention of minus tempo it basically said after day one i think this was earlier this morning he said here are a couple things that we want to address for ALGS. And no pun intended, or no rhyme really meant to go there. That just kind of flowed very nicely. However, number one was the pause feature. We saw a lot of pauses in yesterday's uh, you know, games, but not in today's games. And that's a good sign to see. But however, what, what is it that negates a pause? What exactly causes a pause? When do we use it? When do we not use it? Why did some teams get a pause and other teams not? That's the consistency that we want the information of. Number two, how are visas handled? Because you can see Aurora obviously happy that nine impulse gets to come back and play and effect gets to come back and play for Alliance. However, where's Taskmaster? Obviously, he's still got no information. And I know it sucks to be on the sidelines and get no information on that. So what exactly is going on here? And what can we do to fight this? Because visas are an ongoing issue for all teams. Every single time we do this, there's got to be something that they can fix and have in place ahead of this. Can we announce these tournaments sooner? Can we announce these times and dates sooner? Or what is going on? And when can we get this stuff handled every single time with consistency? Number two, Number three, actually, the filler content in between the individual games and sets of games. There's been a lot of backlash regarding why they're asking trivia questions regarding, you know, how much damage did Jen Burton do in in a regional finals game four, round three uh, inside of this building. Like, it's just very specific, and no one cares to answer things like that. Of course, we want to see a little bit more of the backstories. They've done a great job with the Dark Zero story and the uh, AJ Hawk, uh, you know, documentaries that they've added and the Oxygen Esports story. That's what we want to see more of. And obviously that's a step in the right direction for ALGS and you love to see it. The production has gotten better. We're going to talk about the production as well because they actually signed a new organization to do the production for them and they caught some amazing stuff today as well the tablet we got to talk about that tablet it's coming very shortly obviously later in the videos that's the information we're talking about algs has been feeding these players and a lot of people are not happy about this they actually think it's controversial we'll talk about that shortly and then the digital threat obviously a lot of these pros want it gone from the game they even think that saturday is going to be a bad showing of how much this is going to be abused because it's actually going to be in the crafting rotation as well so uh you know just really great stuff out of today's storylines and so let's go ahead and talk about these standings as it sits right now number one you are not surprised at all that dark zero is your number one team going into your winners bracket round one black hand in second i don't think many people you know were surprised after they saw them compete in day one in the beginning of day two obviously i mean we kind of saw them perform so well earlier this morning we just knew they were going to be there but if you asked me this a couple of days ago i would have not put this team here they have been really shocking a lot of people with their performance as well xat no surprise optic gaming no surprise dreamfire nice surprise lgc a nice surprise tsm no surprise signals moist realize south american team saf i don't think many people had them up here but congrats to them for representing south america very well i really am rooting for them because they just don't get a lot of credit and i'd love to see it ascend ibg oxygen here comes the storyline oxygen esports with an incredible showing after what they did literally in this last group stage and the last game dojo after what they did in this last group singularity alliance after what they did in this last group face clan after what they did literally it all came down to the very last game and i'm going to discuss this in just a second and then nrg 
barely slipping through what concerns me about nrg you guys could see how well they did in you know group c versus d they go down to a versus d and they get worse they grow down into b versus d and they get worse it's just getting worse and worse and i don't know what's going on with nrg they had a bad bad showing this morning and i really hope they can pull it together because they barely skimmed their way through this one and uh, i'm really just hoping that they can figure this out because it's not going to go well if they keep playing like this now the sad unfortunate news is that despite Pulverex winning two games in that last group, they actually get sent down to the loser's bracket because they did not start well enough. You've also got DSG came down to that last game. Sadly, they, they died at like 17th, and that was not enough to get them in. 100 Thieves and J Lings were sitting up here in the top 20. They got pushed out by these bad boys right here. So this is what I want to talk about. Oxygen Esports coming into this last game was actually down here in the losers big time You can see they jumped up 21 green spots That means they literally were way down here and they literally just got bumped up massively Dojo were on the cusp. We thought they were gonna make it weren't sure if they're gonna make it But they were on the cusp going into that final game I think they had kind of secured it but Alliance was not they were in the losers bracket and they had actually lost back-to-back -back contest to the dojo It came down to that final game where they contested the dojo again at thermal station and finally even though they were down 0 to 2 they came back and won the final contest and got third place in that game as well and that's what pushed them right over the line phase clan up 14 spots same scenario for them they were literally down here in a bad bad spot no good games at all and finally the very last game they get second place with a lot of kills and it pushes them right over barely into the top 20 so literally all of these teams like jaylene hunter thieves and i think uh, kcp were on the edge right here they were in the green and it came down to oxygen alliance and phase and normally when that happens you know it's like one or two teams from each side that make it oxygen makes it alliance makes it phase doesn't make it jaylene makes it but no literally everybody in that final group game literally pushed their way over and it was nice to see and i was very happy to see them do that as well because oxygen went through some turmoil today and had two wins in that uh, you know as well and you can even see their owner uh adam morrison comes through and i like that this guy the ceo the co-founder of oxygen he's not just like the money man behind this and just throwing money at this he is so involved he always tweets about his teams and always involved in the you know the organization growth and what's going on with each team i see him tweet stuff about call of duty and and then you know uh, apex legends as well so i just really love to see how great of a job that this organization is doing overall they did catch a lot of flack moving into this because they had actually dropped a team they didn't do good they dropped another team picked up a new one and so they were constantly moving teams until they got to the roster that they were happy with that's when they went through their whole you know you know change of the logos and rebranding and all of this stuff but this is what brings the drama that minus tempo wanted to talk about now this drama is a little weird and like i said controversial because some people say they understand some people say this is borderline like this is almost like unfair like it just doesn't make sense why they're doing this at all if you're watching that final game you may have noticed towards the end alliance was in third place and everybody was like trying to do their math in their head like did they make it did they not make it but you could see hack is actually smiling on camera and people were wondering how does he know what's going on well not only did minus tempo tweet this out about a tablet that is available on each team's desk the information that it provides what information is that well it came out mandy mandy talks about the ipads that players have by their monitors giving them this information what is this information here it goes roll the clip yes there's an ipad next to your monitor everyone has that it literally says how many points team has and who's alive and who's not. And we literally told them, there's no way you guys are going to have this shit in like finals and shit. Yeah, they info a little bit later. As you can see now, maybe a push coming in from the pioneers over towards NRG. NRG get good damage though, you can see that already. Vested into their ultimates, into Hello. their abilities, cannot prove it, it literally shows who's alive as soon as someone dies in game it, it turns off their name 
So you can see how that could be a obvious, obvious problem. Now, the thing behind this, the reason people are so concerned is because on one hand, it's a little bit of a skill to do the math. It's a little bit of a skill to know who's alive because these players play on anonymous mode. And I would really love some of the players that are playing in the game to maybe clear this up a little bit because if you play in custom games on anonymous mode, you can see which teams get eliminated. It says in the top right kill feed, TSM has been eliminated. Dark Zero has been eliminated. I assume that that's still what they see in these LAN matches, but I cannot confirm because I'm not good enough to play in them. However, I think if that is the case, it's a little bit of a skill to know which teams got eliminated and is the team that's on match point eliminated or are they still in? It's something that you really got to use your best judgment for. And a lot of times when you go into games, you should be making the decisions based on the information that you have retained yourself as a player. Should this team push us? Is this TSM? Do we need to play more cautious? Do we need to not feed them points? How do we want to play this? And that's where it comes into obviously being a little bit less RNG. Now, whenever you look into this, this iPad that sits on their screen or sits next to their screen tells them how many points so-and-so has, if they're still alive. And when that's the case, they're being fed information that could cause them to play differently. You could have a mistake where Alliance says, I don't know if we're in, I think we need more kills. I think I need a third party. And he preemptively pushes way prematurely as well and it cost him the game because he didn't enable he wasn't able to keep that information not saying that was going to happen just giving an example however you could see him smile on screen before the game was over and i think it's because of that ipad and that's exactly what people are worried about is this not necessarily cheating because obviously algs gives them the ipad but is this fair is this right should they be doing this it doesn't sound right to me and i don't know if this is the way to go about it obviously teams were not you know I guess happy because minus tempo says we need to know what's going on with this this doesn't seem like everybody agrees upon this so i'm interested to see if you guys agree upon this as well going into tomorrow's games obviously there's something we need to talk about lastly just as we wrap the video up your loser bracket game is as follows 100 thieves 310 aurora complexity dsg e36 e6 fc destroy fanatic gong battery artusan go next j links kick lcdf mid uh md whites north Epson, onic pvx kcp and team riddle don't think too many people were surprised by that unfortunately there were some teams that i guess i was expecting a little higher but overall it's kind of what you saw coming all the big boys are in the winner's bracket you've got phased you've got nrg your alliance you've got dojo oxygen ascend you've got tsm dark zero uh, optic gaming exit all of those big guys are in the winner's bracket tomorrow and this is where obviously people are going to start being upset you've got all the good teams it's bound to happen that a dark zero that a tsm that a exit that a signals that a oxygen that a alliance nrg phase somebody is going to be bottom 10 and going to the loser's bracket it's it's just obviously in the cards someone's got to get upset is there a perfect world where all of the fan favorite teams get top 10 i just don't think it's going to happen so this is what i'm perp uh, you know honestly i i think it's going to happen optic gaming has been my team to look out for all three weeks long honestly i will say i'm a little bit of a bandwagon i gotta say just because i was not thinking they were gonna do this good but since they picked up this guy this is loopy this is optics new coach as of a couple of months ago and he cannot even begin to express how massive this has been for them ever since they picked up this guy they have gotten so much better optic gaming is a team that i look for to be incredible going into these winner bracket games and i do not think that these guys will make the losers bracket because they have been consistent consistently well in scrims you can't count tsm out you can't count dark zero out but i also can't doubt on the oxygen esports team this team really clutched up big when they needed to i was a little worried at first because when you look at the, how they played in split one or split two playoffs they get third place and then you go into the group stages and they're just not there they look like they're going to go down the loser's bracket and that's just not what they used to be and they clutch up when they need to to let you know that they are actually here to play and this is the biggest tournament of the year so it's the perfect time to turn up interested to see who you guys have going in to tomorrow's games let us know down in the comment section below this has been your algs day two recap we'll see you back tomorrow after all the drama and the games unfold as well make sure to like comment and subscribe if you guys want to stay up to date all things apex legends esports related and let us know which pro you'd like to see interviewed and what question you'd ask and we'll see you all in the next one take care of yourselves it's vibrant eye only positivity and until the next time i'll see you all later gators